So I've been having a very big issue with my Oculus Quest 2 controller recently that's made me not be able to play Rec Room, Questcraft, Pokey Quest, and games like VR Chat that use the joystick to walk around. Of course, it's stick drift, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to fix it and what you can do to start playing those games again. I'll make your controller drift go from this to this, and make sure you watch the entire video so you don't miss any steps and enjoy. Also, only a small percentage of people that actually watch my videos are subscribed, so if you could do me a favor and subscribe to my channel and like the video, that would be great. Anyway, let's get into it. That is some gnarly stick drift right there. Oh my goodness. Let's, there we go. Oh, and that is some gnarly stick drift. Alright, so the first method you can do to get rid of your Oculus controller drift is by coming up to the top, pulling this to the side, and blowing in right here. You can also use like a keyboard cleaner, air can, like an air canister that can blow air that you can also use to blow air in there. But uh, you can also do it by just blowing in there and just try and pull this back. You can do it from like all the, um, all the angles, do it from here do it from the bottom this way this way I'm just getting air in there and getting that dirt or debris or hair or that's anything that's in there can get rid of the controller drift without actually having to open it up if that doesn't work then you will have to do this right here uh, first open up the side part the battery goes take the battery out um, sometimes I just use this to get the battery out, just like that. Now, you'll see a screw right in the side right there. That's the important screw you wanna get. So, So I've actually done this before, so the screw is a little bit looser um, for me, but it'll probably be tighter if this is your first time doing that. Also make sure to not lose that screw, that screw is very important. So now once you have this unscrewed, you can take just a normal flathead screwdriver and this little black part right here, just kind of try and get it under. And then at that point you can kind of just slowly Push, make sure not to force it or push too hard. Just slowly go around, pushing it up. Try not to break any of the little plastic pieces that clip down to keep that in place. Now you can kind of come over to the side here. A little bit more, come over to the side. A little bit more until you hear just a quick little pop. Um, again, I have taken this off, so normally there's glue in here that kind of holds it in right here. Um, I've already taken it off, so the glue is a little bit weaker than what it normally is, so it might take you a little bit longer. But just be, just be gentle with it. Go around the sides, edges. Once you have most of it off, you can kind of just slowly peel over. Put it in the side here as well, and there you go. Now you can kind of just pretty much slowly take it off. Again, don't go too hard. And pop straight off. So try not to break this. There's three plastic pieces. This one, this one, and this one. Try not to break any of those because it won't clip back in um, if any of those are broken. So then you'll have this top off, and since you have this top off, you now have a direct access to the joystick. So you can either just pull it back again and blow in there now that you have better, or what I like to do is just pull this off. It is a little tough. Just kind of pull out and the joystick will come off, and as you can see, the joystick is now off. And now that this is off, you can just blow in there 
and uh, try and get everything cleaned out. If blowing doesn't work, um, you can also, again, use the air canister or you can use rubbing alcohol just with like on a Q-tip and just rub it around in there to try and get all the dirt and hair out, which again also works, but I've also just found blowing works the best for me. So I'm gonna do that right now. Also press it down. If you press it down, you hear this click. The deep click. You can also press it down and then pull it back and blow in, which will also help as well. All right, so I've blown in here a little bit and tried to get all the dust and dirt out. So now, um, I can also clean the inside of this out just by blowing in it as well. Might as well. So now I just have to put this back on. There's a certain shape of the analog stick and a certain shape of the thing. So make sure you put the joystick on correctly, but it should just slide on if once you have it on correctly. And just take the black piece right over here. If I can, there we go. And then just slide it over the buttons, over the joystick. And then push down so it clips back in. Don't push too hard or it can make your joystick feel like tight, which you don't want. So just push a little bit to where this is in level with the white part. So you see it's a little up right there. Just push down pretty lightly. It'll go into place. As you can see, a little bit more in place. Just push down over the edges. Make sure everything feels normal. Joystick's normal, X normal, Y normal, and the menu button is normal. So I have everything fully put into place now. So now I just need to leave the battery out still just because it's nice. Then just slide the screw back in. Ready, tidy, lefty, loosey. Now I can slide the battery back in. Slide this back on. And um, I will go test it now to see if it's fixed. So let's go do that. All right, so now I'm on my headset. So now we're gonna test the control, the left one, which is the one I changed. And currently, no joystick drift. Uh, the hologram is not touching the joystick at all. So I'm gonna reset the dead zone of this and see if it has any drift. As you can see, zero drift. Let's calibrate it. As you can see, zero drift. All the drift is gone. Let's calibrate. As you can see, no drift at all, no drift. Works perfect. I like to put a dead zone at around there. Even if I have drift or not, I just like it to have it there. It's just a little bit nicer. I might put a little bit higher just in case. But as you can see, drift is fixed. So that's cool. So no more drift issues. I'm gonna have to do this on my right one because my right one, as you can see, uh, still has drift. Contro my finger is not currently on the controller, but that's fine. So yeah, there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll see you guys in my next one. I hope this helped you. Peace out.